watched this video, but I did not see the original video. I only have something small to add because this video is a few months old. But what I have to add is this. We can't defend a freedom that we no longer have. The false sense of freedom has taken over and shall reign. There is no freedom when we have to pay for the water. There is no freedom when we have to pay to, to live. If life itself has a price tag, there is no freedom. There is only freedom when there is respect amongst the people that control our fate. If someone doesn't like you because of your blue eyes, there will be no freedom. If someone doesn't like me because of the color of my skin, there is no freedom. We can fight a million years in a battle that's been going on for five million years and there will still be no freedom. The false sense of security has been given to us and crumbles amongst us, in front of us. While we watch freedom crumble, it just crumbles and we do nothing. We can fight for what? My friend, the only thing we fight for in the end is survival. Therefore, the only freedom that will come in the end is for those who can live amongst each other. So until there is freedom, there will be no freedom, and there is no freedom. Not for us, not for them, not for you, and not for me. Freedom is in the eyes of the beholder. I once saw this movie, and the man was in prison, and he says, I am the freest man in here because I'm free within my mind, even though my body goes nowhere. Freedom. Freedom is that voice inside you that yearns to get out. But you keep him in captivity. We lock our freedom up because we're afraid to express free feelings, free thought. If you think too loud, you act too proud. You get shot down real fast. Freedom? The United States of America has never been uh, one for freedom. No one here is free. No one here will ever be free. Corporate slavery. Debt slavery. Credit. In order to live here, you must have credit. And that credit is your shackle and chains that need to pay and have who I gotta go buy the new this the new that I got to text somebody I need this I need that all these needs hamper freedom no man should want or need for anything in my world because my world is completely free you shouldn't have to pay to walk across the streets you shouldn't have to pay to drive across a bridge you should not have to pay anything on the face of the earth there is no freedom the only thing free the only thing free is death death is free everything else cost and now if those the powers that be if they have their way you'd have to pay to die you understand what I'm saying? There's no dramatic music playing in the back of this video. I don't want to stir the pot. When I talk with theatrical music in the background, it blows my words out of proportion. Those can't hear me through the theatrics. They get a show and they go, like, yeah! Enraged and happy and sad and violent and every emotion you can get but free. True freedom, brothers and sisters. You can't fight for it. You can't threaten or kill for it. True freedom must be given freely and not just to a certain group, a certain color, but it must be free to everybody instantaneously. At one time, poof!
the world is free. In a world where everything costs, when the world, in a world where the price is high, there's no freedom. You have a baby, you gotta pay a doctor bill. You have to pay to bring your child into the world, then tax your child until your child dies. There is no freedom. There won't be any freedom on this planet until there are no leaders. If somebody got to tell you what to do or guide you or control you, you're not free. If you got to follow somebody, a false god, a deity, a book, you are not free. There's an old saying in the black community, free your mind and the rest will follow. Like that man said in that prison, he's the freest guy there. Even though his body goes nowhere, his mind is not in a cage. You want freedom. Pray to that God. Not that mythological figure that lives in outer space. Pray to that God. That one that shocks your heart every morning to start it. The one that puts his hands across your eyes every night to put you to sleep. The one that rubs you and wakes you up. Pray to that God that gave you the mind to think free. Pray to that God that dwells inside you. Some people call it soul. I call it freedom. You've been too.